Number 11, the sine of x over 2 minus 1 equals 0 on the interval from 0, including, to 8 pi, not including. Okay, so here I have a half angle, or you can just think about it as anything other than a plain old x in the argument of the trig function. So I am going to let u equal x over 2. Let u equal that argument. And then since I've changed the argument and I've let u equal the argument of the trig function, I'm going to have to adjust the interval. So I'm going to try to get this guy to match this, <coughs> excuse me, this guy visually. In order to do that, I'm going to have to multiply every piece in the inequality by one half. And I have zero is less than or equal to x over two, which is less than four pi. That's my new interval. And this is my new equation that I'm solving. So, oh, this becomes so easy now. I have the sine of u is equal to one. If I'm trying to find where we have a trig ratio of one, I'm gonna sketch my unit circle. Okay, so on the unit circle, I'm looking for a y coordinate of one. How did I know that it's going to be the y coordinate? Because x is cosine, x is cosine, y is sine, y is sine. So I'm looking for where y is one on the unit circle. And that's going to happen at pi over two. <laughs> so I have u equals pi over two. However, my interval is a little funky. My interval goes all the way to 4 pi. So that means if I kept going on this rotation, right, I would get to 2 pi, and then I would need to go around all again. So I'm going to do that again. I'm going to go around again. And if I keep going, now blue is my second rotation, right? I'm going to get here after I've hit 2 pi and then added pi over 2 more. So I'm going to go 2 pi. I'm going to add pi over 2 more. I'm going to get a common denominator. And I'm going to get 4. Whoa! 4 pi over 2 plus pi over 2 equals 5 pi over 2. So that's my other solution. Except these are for you, and I need x. So I'm going to take pi over 2. I'm going to set it equal to my u substitution, which was x over 2. Okay, that's one solution. I'm going to take my other solution. And I'm going to write them together in order. x equals pi, x equals 5 pi. <laughs> 